Uh, yep. Let's see. I might have you muted, Rob. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. You can. Um, Hold on, I'm talking to someone else there, Steve. Uh, I just got to get, I think as people enter this, I think um, the, um, oh, Rob, check your, uh, uh, check your audio. Are you muted? Thank you. There we are. Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, okay. I Good. don't know all, oh, but here, now we got an issue. I've got one person on my phone that cannot hear you. Okay. Steve, I'm using headphones. I didn't think this through. Um, well, I'm using phones too. Well, I have somebody on the landline that didn't have the technology. Oh. And, and oh, okay. so, um, yeah. might have to switch here. Hey, Steve. Are you there? Steve Zarati? Bear with me, Rob. You're the only one on. No, it's fine. I'm I'm still hey. getting situated here. Hey Steve, you there? Hello. Steve, if you can hear me, you might have to we might have to I might have to catch you up in another way because my technology is, you're not going to hear the, the speaker of my, of my computer. So I'll talk to you. Later. Give me a call back or I'll call you back later. That was my buddy in Athens, Ohio. And uh, oh, man. he, um, I, I, I had a lengthy conversation with him yesterday. I can always call him back and catch him up, but, um, I don't think it's going to work for him. He'll have, he's got the technology coming next week. Okay. Who else do we have here? Make sure if you're on moons here, Hey moon, uh, if you can hear me, uh, look for the unmute button on your, uh, on your device somewhere. I see that here. I've got you. Okay. Now, now I should hear you. Yeah. Uh, see, this is my first go round at, at hosting one of these. So here's what I do know from, from doing these, uh, it's probably a good idea if you can find the mute button on your um, on your device there, whatever you're using, to um, when everybody jumps on. I don't know how many people we'll have. Maybe we'll have just five. Maybe there'll be ten. But um, it's probably a good idea to mute for background noises because you'll whatever sounds there. If you if you uh, move your chair, or whatever, it tends to take over the conversation. It does. It it will. Um mute people who aren't talking though. It, it oh, does it do that? It'll switch over to whoever starts talking. Oh, good. I, it, when I've done it, it does, but you just have to uh, be careful not to bang your chair. I'm going to get a power supply hooked up because my, I'll be right back. Okay. How's it going moon? Hey, it's good. Todd. Yeah. Other than everything else in the world, it's, uh, that's I nuts. Use it, um, for my class last week, I teach a class on how to score video games at School of the Arts. And when you, you can send files and stuff, and that's when you need to mute your microphone because it wouldn't play the file because somebody would, was talking or something. It's, we're all new to this. Yes, yeah, so we, we definitely are. But not for long. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, well, Rob, so far, we've got Moon Mullen. He's in Marietta, Ohio. Moon's, uh, 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 here's, uh, well, I'll just wait for people to jump on. We'll introduce everybody. That's we'll, good. We'll, yeah. we'll hang out. Uh, Amanda right. Stevens is on. Uh, she's connecting her audio. Let's see. Um, We'll just hang tight for a minute here and let people gather. Oh man. Otherwise it's an incredible, beautiful day here in North Carolina. Just incredible. Same here. Right. Same here. Except for the pollen. The pollen here is like snow for about, literally it just covers everything in about an eighth of an inch. And, uh, People having a hard time 
knowing whether they've got COVID or pollen. Oh, it's yeah. Really, well, seriously. It's, it's that way. So we have uh, Amanda uh, from Hello. Artsbridge. She's she's in. Are you in the and are you in the office there in Parkersburg? No, oh, I'm I at didn't. home. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. <laughs> and uh, we'll just wait for some other folks to come on. We got Moon That's Mullen fine. and Marietta. Uh, Raw, uh, Rod, where, where are you, uh, where are you? Uh, uh, where am I now? Ex exactly, yeah. Which where planet are you? <clears throat> yeah, which am I on? <laughs> which satellite am I coming from? Mm -hmm. uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh. Um, and I'm sitting here, of course, in Parkersburg on the hill. I like your, are you using your uh, mic that I'm s seeing there? You got that yeah, plug? I've got, uh, and this is new technology to me. I mean, I've never hooked an interface into my computer, but I, I realized, you know, a couple of weeks ago, it seems like six months ago, I, yeah. that I was going to have to start doing my kids' workshops, especially. I was going to be conducting them online, and um, and so I got an interface for the computer. What my, interface did you get? Because I've, it's just a cheapy focus, right? Um, yep. It was hundred bucks, you know, and, um, and I just really, this is the first time, well, you know, how's it sound? It sounds great. <laughs> okay. This it is really the first does. time I've used I, it. I, I've talked to maybe 20 different people about interfacing, uh, live streaming. I've, I know a lot right now, more than I did a week ago. I started to get into it last fall, got frustrated with it, and just went on to playing live shows. I wish I had dug into it last fall, but you know, whatever. Well, um, let's, uh, um, so we've got um, <clears throat> this couple other arts bridge. Uh, this was just a general for, for um, um, Amanda. Oh, I'll, have, I'll have Amanda introduce herself and say what she does. Let's just go through with who's here and, uh, and I mean, you guys know what I do. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you what I've been doing the last two or three weeks. Um, and we can, we can go from there, but, uh, I'll let, I'll, we'll start with, uh, is it, do you go by Amanda or Mandy? You can call me Mandy. Yeah, okay. I go by Mandy, but you know, I sign everything Amanda. So it's, but, um, I'm Amanda Stevens and I'm the executive director of ArtsBridge. Can you guys hear me? Oh yes. yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, and we have been trying to stay um, in people's minds and, you know, we're, we've been trying to stay relevant during this shutdown. You know, um, I'm sure just like everyone else, all of our programs have been canceled or postponed until next school year. And so just like everyone else, we have been drastically affected. Um, we have um, four employees and, um, you know, it's hard to try to keep everybody busy and working when uh, there's there's no events. So right now we're navigating through that, trying to um, find out who's eligible for unemployment. Um, you know, so and I and I said this yesterday in a couple emails that I received from people that I have more questions than I have answers right now. But um, yeah, I'm sure I'm not alone in that. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I question while I'm thinking of it. Um, so the, your, your employees, I mean, I mean, how, how does this affect you? I mean, as far as, you know, cash flow and how urgent is this, this window that we hopefully will close in the summer? <laughs> but I mean, uh, so uh, what are your, what are your biggest needs right now as an organization? <sighs> There, there's one of those things that I, you know, I hate to sound so. Uh, Go like ahead. I, Everybody's going to sound like that. So. Yeah. yeah. I just, I don't, I don't know. Um, most of our money comes from grants and I'm sure that that's, you know, the, the case with a lot of people in this business. Um, so I don't even know how I'm going to do final reports for grants because nothing's happening. And then I don't know how <clears> it's going to affect, um, Several of the grants pay after the event, you know. So yeah. now I'm, are we going to get that money? Because uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, my, my biggest thing is I'm very concerned about that. 
Um, are the grants going to come through? Are, are they going to make special, um, are, are they going to, um, are they going to make special exceptions because no one's able to have, you know, because it's, no one can control the fact that there's just no programming happening. I can't say there's no programming. We're still trying to do um, like pod videos um, as a catalog artist that he is for us. And um, we're taking advantage of um, using our online presence, our Facebook presence. And also I've talked to the schools that we service and they are excited about having those catalog artist videos made available for their students on their school pages. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, I mean, that's nice that we're able to do that. And our art cart teachers, two of our art cart instructors have made instructional videos that we're also able to share on the school websites and on our Facebook page. But other than that, everything we do is based on people gathering and enjoying and sharing the arts and having arts experiences. And so um, if this goes on long term, we're going to have to re reinvent ourselves until we can get back to our normally scheduled program. Yeah. Um, well, we'll talk. <clears throat> we'll, we'll get through everybody and we'll talk about um, I But while I just made a note while Mandy was talking about Artsbridge there and uh, it might be it. I was hoping that uh, I invited um, uh, Tim Peacock at some, from Stewart's Opera House to this call and, and some others, and they want to talk, but just didn't have time today. But um, Hunt Brawley at the at People's Bank Theater is, you know, everybody's going through this, mm -hmm. and uh, and he's he's been digging into, as I'm I'm guessing you have um, uh, the 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 relief that's available for nonprofits and and whatnot, he might be a good person for you to sp speak with. And, mm -hmm. uh, and also part of the, um, part of, um, on the board for the people's bank theater, uh, Dave Tenney, an accountant has been a big help, uh, navigating this thus far. This is my understanding. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've been doing other things. I'm not dealing with this, this, mm -hmm. this stuff, but, but uh, maybe we hook you up with Hunt just to have a conversation with what he's traveled through. It might be some help to Artsbridge, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, my wife is uh, works with the little Raleigh Little Theater. Very similar. They they run on grants, and you know it's a live community supported theater. Yeah. Just so like you, Mandy, it's you know it's dead. Yeah. yeah. Right now. Um. Well, I've got some ideas. I've got other ideas beyond what uh, Mandy and I have spoken uh, that uh, we might be able to breathe some life into this in a virtual way. Uh, I want to I want to say hi to uh, to my good friend John Lilly. He's sitting. Where are you, John? I'm in my bedroom in Charleston, West Virginia. Yeah, and John. Yeah, John's a fine uh, singer songwriter, touring artist. Uh, well, we'll just since we're we're talking to John here. Tell us, just tell us about yourself just briefly and tell us uh, what, uh, you know, what you've been doing the last couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, and we'll, we've just, we've, we've spoken to Mandy and we'll get to the others. We got five folks here. Yodeling. <laughs> what I've been doing, I've been keep, yodeling. Keep going. I love it. <laughs> um, you know, I've been a little at loose ends. I keep waiting for something to happen that's going to change my life, but it just... Every day is kind of the same. Thursday is a lot like Wednesday, and it's, it's hard to get motivated. Yeah. Um, what day is it? It's a new, it's a new world. Yeah. I did a, a concert a, a podcast last Tuesday night, and I made $400, which is pretty good for a one-hour podcast. That's sweet. How did you um, – tell us how you monetized that. How, how did you go about um... – getting tips or whatever. Well, you know, it's a little deceptive. It was, it was actually my whole family watched the thing and they gave me a bunch of money. Okay. Yeah. So that was great. But I, I still, I got, I got two, $200 yesterday as residual because it's still online. People can still watch it. And we did do PayPal and people gave money. So that's yeah, cool. that's, that's, that's but, nice. Uh, I think Mandy, is that your name? Yes. Um, what you were mentioning about if this goes on a long time, I think it's gonna. I think it's yeah. going to keep coming back. I think this is going to be with us for probably four or five years where yeah. we're going to have to limit 
our social contact. And we have to think of a new way to do this thing. Um, we have the theaters, the theaters are set up. We could do performances in the theaters and have people just be audience members from home. Mm -hmm. um, what I did the other day, this podcast, I did it in a funky garage. I was thinking, you know, I could do this on a stage and make it look good. It doesn't have to be in a funky garage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know how the theaters are going to make money off of that, but for the performers. You know, one thing that is still going to go on, the only thing that is going to go on is Give Local MOV, and that's the, um, that's the online giving campaign that they do every May. And I'm really hoping that those who are able to will give this year, especially in light of the situation, um, because that's a big part of our income. That's a big yeah. chunk of our income. And I, and I, I'm, I'm concerned that people are going to be leery of giving because they don't know what their personal situation is going to be. Yeah. So again, I'm afraid, you know, people might hoard money because they're afraid to spend right now. I think you'll have that, but, um, Hopefully you'll have other people that, that don't have those needs that will give more than they normally do. Uh, so give local MOV. Is that the same? Is, is that a matching fund type? Uh, yes. Uh, so anything, that, and that's in May? Is it's that May, May 5th. Okay. And so, because I know the art center, um, Jesse, uh, depends on that a, yes. as well. Um, well, that's, um, that's an interesting time to maybe do something around here with, mm -hmm. uh, with, with, uh, for everybody to get involved. Um, so let's, let's go to, uh, um, Marietta, Ohio, uh, moon, introduce yourself and lay it on us. What's, uh, what's going on. And of course, a uh, business owner, singer, songwriter, he's a, uh, a uh, former mayor of the, the town of Marietta, uh, moon Mullen. Hey, uh, well, good to talk to you all, and um, it's interesting times. I own a, a, a small business, a pizza joint, bar, um, just changed gears, you know, a couple weeks ago to now we're a carry-out and delivery place instead of a sit-down music venue, uh, you know, drink beer and have, have fun with a hundred of your new best friends, but, uh, you know, that's going to change, and I, I miss it uh, as much as anything because every weekend I get to sit in there and play whether anybody is there or anybody cares. And um, a lot of times, you know, we get a lot of people in and they do care and, and we have a heck of a good time. But um, just, you know, my local Arts Bridge connection, uh, Mandy, I was was kind of there at the beginning in the first year and so I've been involved in the arts and entertainment uh, the arts and education program since the very first year so uh, you know that's probably 30 plus consecutive and and over those years um, probably played in front of 20,000 kids um, always tried to do all school assemblies you know Appalachian folky um, you know crazy homegrown music. Uh, Todd's helped me produce three CDs. They're all crazy and homegrown and, and, and local. And uh, uh, not only has produced them, but he's played on all of them. So Todd, uh, I think in my creative times, I'm getting ready to, to do uh, the next CD, which is all the songs I couldn't play for the last 25 years because I've been an elected official and have a <laughs> lot of pent up uh, uh, you know, the, just going to finally start telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth. But until then, um, we'll, we're just going to pers persevere and, and wish everybody good luck. If I have to check out, uh, that means that I got called to go be pizza delivery guy. So um, anyway, pleasure to make all your acquaintance. And I guess we'll all figure out how to uh, get to the virtual side. This is my first Zoom uh, day. So, but... <laughs> looks like it could work well and um and i appreciate you you guys setting it up great yeah, to meet you, moon. yeah th um thanks moon and um in, ca in case you have to actually i don't i've never done this maybe uh rod could maybe speak to this but i'm recording this session and Good. um i'll make it available so if you miss if you miss something because later we'll we'll dig uh i mean we're not going to do this for an extremely long time but but uh i'll i'll 
I'm recording it. I'll post it maybe on my YouTube site, however that works, and send you a link so you can hear what you missed if you have to bug out. Um, I, and I, I want to say hi to um, uh, JD. I think he's not on video, but he's on the call. Is, am I right, JD? I think I unmuted him, maybe. Uh, JD Williamson. Well. Well, hey, JD. <laughs> anyway. Hi, JD. Anyway, if you can hear us, we can't hear you right now, but uh, I hope you look, can hear us. So JD look for is an a, unmuting button if there is wherever you're at. Yeah, I've got you unmuted on my end, but maybe uh, maybe you search around your screen or whatever device you're on. Maybe you're muted and uh, try to unmute that and uh, when you get to it, uh, say hi to us. Um, JD's a regional, he's a cartoonist and part of the Arts Bridge program and uh, full time, full timer in the biz. In One the thing you could do, Todd, have you got anybody on your phone? You could FaceTime JD and just show him up on your feed. If, if he can't, just put your FaceTime up where we can see him and we'll be able to hear him through your microphone. Yeah, JD, if you, uh, but you'll have to hold your phone up or when he talks or yeah, something. I don't have I've seen people do that when they couldn't connect, but you can only do that with one person. Yeah. Um, Actually, you can do it with more people on FaceTime, but it's a pain. Wait, a, he says, looking forward to he, I got an email from him. I just have to figure out how to click the link. Well, he's these days it's any port in the, in the storm right now. Yeah. Hey, JD, if you can hear us, why don't you try to log back on or something? Um, for one thing, this was, this will work. Um, this will work on your computer as well. If you have a desktop, uh, with a mic, uh, or, or, a, uh, your cellular device or an iPad or anything, you might try to log in, click that link and log on with something other device. Possibly if not, I'm going to shoot you, uh, I'll shoot you my cell. And you can call me on my cell. Here it is. And we'll try, we'll try a FaceTime. That is, you have to be Apple, right? To FaceTime? Yeah. If you're an Apple person. Yeah. So here you go, JD, if you can hear me. I'm sorry that I got here a little late, but did you all mention that Bill Withers passed on? Yeah, I, I saw that just before. What? I, yeah, I saw that just before. Did he have the COVID-19? Was that? They don't really know. I, I don't think anything about anymore. that. Yeah, I just said he passed away. That's so sad. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. John Prime is still hanging in there. I'm so, I, I've been so sad about that. Yeah, John, I heard that John Prine was out of ICU. So, mm. uh, well, um, okay, great. so now let's go to Raleigh. JD, I just sent you my phone number if you want to call that and try to FaceTime if you're an Apple person. Um, so uh, let's go to Raleigh, Rod Abernathy here. Hey, yeah. guys. Um, hey, Rod. I met Todd last year. Came up and played for your... Um, Todd and I have a mutual friend, Don Dixon, who's a producer, performer. Uh, first thing that I want to tell people is that I'm more hopeful than desperate these days. And... You know, of course, I watch Cuomo every day, and I watch Rachel Maddow at night, and um, I just, I'm not there yet. I mean, you know, we're, I've gone through the five stages of grief mm -hmm. already, which, and I keep circling back through them. This is not like, uh, it's not like someone died and you can get over it. It's just a continuous tornado that mm -hmm. keeps hitting. But um, I've been, you know, Todd knows this, but I've been in the music business in a lot of different arenas. Um, but I've been self-employed all my life. And so being at home and being in a studio, we're kind of isolated anyway. So I kind of know the routine of being by myself. It's just now I can't, you know, we can't go out and hear live music. And my musician friend, musician friends are, all saying, how long is it going to last? Well, it's two things. It's, it's um, testing and a vaccine. Simple. The two things that are going to rule whatever we do. It's testing and a vaccine. And people are not going to go get in a room 
unless they feel like they've have been tested or everybody's tested or there's a vaccine. And to me, it's, I'm not that religious, but I do know that mother nature is laying the hammer down right now and saying, get your shit together. And everybody is in the same boat here. So I feel like the human race, I hate to speak so globally, I feel like I'm in a sci-fi movie, but the human race can get together and make this work. I really do believe we can do that and uh, for the common good. So I'm feeling more hopeful than desperate. Um, if you talked to me last week, I was pretty desperate. Rod, but, I like your uh, point about this being a global situation. For, for one time in my life, it doesn't matter what part of the world you're living in, whether you're living in the island yeah. of Bali or you're living in the Antarctica or Moscow or whatever, we're all facing the same challenge. We, we doesn't are. Matter anymore. And we need leadership, of course. And, you know, that's pretty <laughs> debatable. But um, I listen to Cuomo. He's, to me, he's telling the truth. And he's laying it on the line. Um, I did have an online concert last week on a Friday. For two weeks, that consumed me. It was a good thing. All I could think about was how to get this thing going. It helped me... Um, focus on that. And that was a good thing. Um, made about a grand, which, you know, from online viewers, I mean, that was such a gift. What a gift in such a crisis to make any money. If I'd made a hundred dollars, I would have been happy. So um, I've really gone head deep into online streaming and how to do it. And Luckily, you, you can still order equipment or cords or pat, patch cables from b &H or Sweetwater, any of these people. They're still shipping out stuff if you want to try to get online in a better way than just your phone. But I've seen great things on phones. Like I watched Richard Thompson last weekend. It looked like he was really on an iPhone. And it was awesome. And to me, the fact that not everybody is HD and 4K with their video and the best audio. It's the performance behind that people are relating to. And I really think people are very forgiving these days. They just want to, they just want to hear people. They just want to know they're in touch with their favorite musicians or they, 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 uh, they want to be there. And again, it's bringing everybody to, together. And I, um, I could talk for a couple of hours, but I'm yeah. well, um, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I've, it's, it's been the, the stages of grief that that's, so I was, you know, back and forth, uh, on, on all this when it, when it first started crumbling first, my first order of business, um, was, uh, the, the people's bank theater there in, in Marietta, um, uh, I've had to move 15 national acts. I mean, so, uh, and, and we're talking, that's a horrendous task. I've, I've never, you know, so people think you know, friends and fans are saying, uh, thinking I'm cranking out songs and sitting around writing music and going online. And, and I'm not, I, I've, I, I don't have time to write. I, it's the busiest time of my life. Uh, that, that kind of has, I've kind of caught up on that luckily for the theater um, only one of those acts has not found, um, a, another spot on the calendar. Uh, and, and to speak to something that's optimistically speaking, I've had agents actually, they're talking about new shows, you know, so it's, uh, so for a long time, these agents and, and still, the, you know, heads are spinning and, and we're kind of creeping into June now. I just moved this show two days ago, our REO Speedwagon. I moved them from, from, June 2 to December. Um, and, and so that, that's been time consuming, uh, which, which is good to have something to consume my time. And, and of course I get, I, I, I build them hourly for that. And I, it was needed because I lost shows, you know? Yeah. So, um, I've been under over the last decade, especially my, my method of booking shows for myself, I, uh, has been, to remove myself totally from the bar scene and, uh, and play less and make more, 
this was an idea that, you know, Ron soul laid this on me about 15 years ago, Ron soul of mountain stage. So you ever think about playing less and making more. So that's been my, that's been my mission. And, and so I have a, you know, smattering of regional shows. I had one in Wheeling last month. I had a, and I had a show last Saturday that was supposed to take place in Morgantown. So it was a pretty much sold out show with my rock band. We, we rarely play and it's so it's a big event. And, and so I was, I had these two shows. I was really kind of banking on that, you know? Yep. And, um, and I haven't lost them. They've both been moved. I might have to move the wheeling one again, you know, it's in, mm-hmm. it's in July. I don't know, but, but still there's this, there's this dark hole for the theater and for an arts organization. There's this, there's this hole you're going to have to catch up on somehow. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so, um, I've, in the spare time, whatever I've had, I've, uh, I was already kind of set up to do video work from my space. That's that looked that pleased me, you yeah. know, that I thought looked pretty decent. I have stage lights from, from where I used to do my own sound and lights at shows. And, and, um, I studied up on how to light things and I've been doing this for the last couple of years, dabbling in this. So I was kind of, I guess ahead of the curve as far as that goes. And I, I just, as a test run, I, I've never monetized, um, I've never monetized an online show. And two weeks ago, I just, you know, tried it out for the wheeling show. And, um, and I just played, I played my show at the same time slot I would have been in wheeling. And so I, I kind of made that a deal. Like I'm supposed to be in wheeling tonight, but here I am doing the same basic show and, um, and people were very kind. I know, I know that uh, I did better sitting in my, my studio space than I would have done in wheeling. And, uh, and, and so that, that was kind of like the, uh, the honeymoon effect maybe on all this, <laughs> on, on this, on this, uh, deal. So that went rather well. And, uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> very cool yeah. is that coming off backwards though no that's for no that's, that's great that's yeah. what you, if you play any of you play you've got to make a sign and put it up there and well i found it. that the uh yeah so i found what i did um what i did was um i um i I put a virtual tip jar on, you can go to toddverge.com and see what I've done. It's, it just says Todd's tip jar and, um, and you click on it. It's a PayPal thing. And, and really, and I've found a lot of people are doing this PayPal, PayPal me link yeah. right in the description of the video, which is much more user friendly. I should yeah. say, I, I haven't tried that yet, but uh, so to expand on this, I, I did these, um, this zoom conference a couple of weeks ago, it seems like, it seems like a year ago now, uh, Joe Crookston, my friend in, um, Ithaca, New York, he's a touring singer songwriter. Yeah, he's awesome. Joe's yeah. incredible. <clears throat> well, he, he started these zoom things, uh, with various singer songwriters and I, I caught one he invited me and he was talking about, and really I was just feeling sorry for myself, you know, <laughs> at first I'm just feeling sorry for myself and, you know, worried about the theater too. And, mm-hmm. but, uh, but I, um, Joe, Joe said, what about these smaller venues and what about these, you know, even public radio and, and arts organizations and we need to support them. You know, they're supporting us. We need to support them. And Joe said, he's going to link up, he's going to pick a venue. He's going to link up to them and, and, and just split his, his tips or whatever with, with that venue. And, and so I took my show last week and I split my tips for my tip jar with the staff at one, two, three Pleasant street there in Morgantown. Wow. And I, I sent them a check for 700 bucks, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, uh, and, and I sold more merchandise on my website that night in a day than probably ever, you wow. know, and I, I ran a sale on my merchandise, you know, and, and my daughter and I were really busy for a, pretty much a solid day sending out merchandise. I was really blown away and humbled by this. And, uh, and that, that filled that hole. And, and now my mission is to, Mandy knows this, is to f- figure out a way. And I think we've got a way figured out to, 
to take my kids, you know, I'm really busy with kids uh, shows this time of year uh, through Arts Bridge. I'm going into schools a lot. This is the time of year the teachers go, oh, there's that Arts Bridge money. We need to use it. Yeah. And, and I get really busy in April and May with, yeah. with Arts Bridge uh, workshops and um, trying to figure out a way to make this work online for these kids that are all cooped up. Yeah. And, uh, but I want to say, if I say anything here today that has, that is, I think really helps is one, two, three Pleasant Street in Morgantown took my show and they treated it as if it was a show that they were hosting mm. and, and they put it out there on their calendars. They posted it, they shared it on Facebook and, and, it, yeah. and, and that was big for everybody involved. Mm. And, um, uh, and, and now I'm just thinking what other venues and organizations can I do this with? And my hope is that, that this spreads. I mean, there are already some other artists doing this. This is not my original idea, but my hope is that other artists will do this for one, two, three pleasant street and other organizations and they can link up and, and, uh, and just do shows as if they were actually gathering in a room and, uh, and split that. And I think everybody benefits. It's a great idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure people, um, well, my daughter and son-in-law have a restaurant here in town and they were posting the show, you know, have a, they're like every other restaurant, they're doing takeout, but they said, come have takeout and have an evening show with Rod, you know, Friday night at eight. It was really nice. Um, but I hadn't thought about partnering up with other people or get a group of musicians together. One thing that I want to try to pursue is a group like a Zoom concert that people can somehow tune in on, you know, like a two or three artists on the same show. I'm not sure how people are doing. That's that. what um, actually in the, the conference call with, with Joe, I'm it's how, how Walker, I believe is his name. He lives in Kent, Ohio, but, mm -hmm. but he's doing, he's invited me to do a, a songwriter in the round. And actually that's, that was my first reason for buying this interface. Yeah. So I could do a zoom concert and sound decent. And uh, so he's, he's trying that. I'll let you know how that goes, but. Uh, hey Todd. Yes. Could you play just a couple of notes on the guitar? Let me see what the audio sounds like. Well, it, when I have, I have two lines in here. So probably when I play, although this might be enough, I don't know, but uh, probably when I play, I will, um, I'll use the other line for a guitar mic, but I'll show you. And, mm -hmm. and actually, I'd like to hear what you think, but I'll, I'll strum a chord and see what you think. Your speaking voice sounds fine. Yeah, I think his voice sounds really good. Mandy, I'm, this is not really helping your situation much, I know. Oh, it's fine. It's, um, I, I'm enjoying hearing from everyone, and it's important for me to know what's going on with the artist community. Well, I, my Kickstarter campaign was supposed to start last week, oh. and I have an album that's sitting in the can that I went to Nashville to do in December and I was going to release it in July. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole new. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That, I really, I really feel problem. for you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this has been really great for me. Just, just what I've heard so far, because I do think it's important that I hear from artists, what's going on, what's your personal situation. I mean, it, it's very much what I guessed. Everyone's trying to navigate through this in their own way and be creative. Yeah. And I think everyone's having to reinvent themselves. Yes. Yeah. Um, I need to, Hey John, I'm going to strum a chord here and then I'll continue okay. since you asked. Uh, and this isn't my best sounding guitar, but, uh, you just play, just play. <laughs> What's that? Well, the gate on Zoom is not kicking in. Strum oh, it. Yeah. There's, um, and I don't have it set. I have this set for conversations. Oh, and okay. there's another setting on Zoom, and I, and I, I won't get into it now. But, uh, John, I can, maybe that's another meeting. We'll talk Rod, about it. Rod, could you strum one of those guitars behind you? Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this isn't audio set audio. for this type of thing. Okay. There's right. another, there's another setting where it releases that gate. And I think it's called concert setting or something like oh, that. Okay. That's and, good to know. Yeah. And, um, uh, I'd forgotten that, but it's, this isn't, this isn't set right for playing music. If the audio was set up, this would make a nice in the round format. It would. Each of the it would. It's, and if you could put a public view on it, I'm not sure you can. Yeah, you can. 
Oh, that's great. Uh, you, you can, um, according to Joe Crookston, you can, he did a show with 100, 135 people watching him and he saw like a, a group of faces. Of course, they're all muted. And then at one yeah. point he unmuted everybody and they were all, you know, it was kind of crazy. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we can, uh, well, John and, and Rod, I mean, we, you know, we can, we can talk about these things and maybe try one out, you know, and test the That's technology. A good idea. But, Cause I want to uh, do it again. I want to do another show in about three weeks and yeah. trying to just trying to figure out how to make it better. Um, it crossed my mind when you were talking earlier about your CD in the can, Rod. Yeah. I suppose we've all experienced the drop in CD and um, physical sales. I wonder if maybe there's might, there might be a silver lining and that people maybe will take more interest in our recordings than they used to. They, I, I think so. Um, John, I was thinking about that the other day. I mean, I don't sell that many physical CDs unless I play somewhere. And uh, it could be, it could be a silver lining with this. Because if, if I do my CD release party online, instead of having it downtown, you know, maybe 200 people downtown, if I could somehow get 400 or 600 people online and, you know, Moon's name just came up. Yeah, Are he's you, unmuted in case he uh, wants to join yeah. back. Uh, speaking of what, uh, as far as ArtsBridge and May 5, uh, uh, Mandy, we should talk about doing some sort of, um, and you know, even if we couldn't link, even if we couldn't link artists together, maybe you would just to, like you would schedule a festival and, mm -hmm. uh, you could, you could have a 20 minute time slot from various artists, or maybe, maybe it's just, uh, maybe if we can't get the technology together, maybe we could just post some videos or whatever and make it, make it like an online Mm -hmm. uh, campaign, but I, I found, um, the live, the live, uh, Facebook live, uh, people love the, just interacting, you know, and, and being part yeah, of it. If, if I could even give you our login stuff. And even if you as an artist could do, um, you know, take over and go live for us for, like you said, 20 minutes here or there. We'll have a telephone. I really think those will yeah. be the type of things that engage people more that day and remind them, oh yeah, today's the day I'm supposed to go. MOV, give local MOV.org and you know. Yeah. yeah, we could do that. We could even, if you'd like, we could test that. If you want me to just log in on the ArtsBridge page and we could share it and make it and see, see how it takes. We could do one of these, like I did with one, two, three pleasant. We could do like a little show and, and, uh, and just see how it takes, you know? And um, I definitely want to take you up on that because yeah. I think that that's the sort of thing that's going to yeah. really help this year. I mean, above and beyond what we normally do to try to promote that because you know, everything that we normally do is out the window. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, For the I, last... I, I, I just, one more thing. I'll, I'll, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, swallow up all the conversation here, but uh, I, I should say that I'm, I'm optimistic. I, I, um, you know, even, you know, we also, I, I have some songwriter friends that, that really were just tour like, crazy, you know, and their, their whole tours have crumbled and no other source of income. Uh, my, my wife, my wife works for us foods. We have two, two sources of income. And, and luckily she, she just found out she's yesterday. She's only making 70% of her income for until July 4. So okay. that that's, uh, and I, you know, and I started, and, and there are other things I'm saying this, this video will be shared. I'm saying this um, maybe for people that will watch later, but uh, I mean, I was looking for a sole proprietor or a um, self-employed person to that uh, paycheck protection program um, that, that helps uh, people like, you know, John Lilly, me and uh, it, Rod, you know, uh, and I don't even, I mean, there's all kinds of uh, help available. I think, I don't know how quickly you can get it, or, but it seems that it seems that certainly uh, full time artists would all. I I went through the whole um, I went through the whole um, uh, form today and yeah. filled it out just so I'd know what I was talking about. But it seems like somebody like me could you know get a loan uh, to help carry through this this window, 
and and that if it goes if you and then at the end of it if you show you paid your mortgage and you know because i'm running a small business it's all tied to my you know if you showed you put paid utilities and your mortgage and all that that it's just it's like a grant it's like uh right. it becomes a grant um I would recommend looking into that. I called the bank to see if my bank was affiliated or, you know, they've approved certain banks and, and they are, they took my name and number and said they'd call back and, uh, and we'll see. I'm, I'm not like, I'm not, uh, I'm not desperate. I'm very hopeful. I think that this, this makes me think, uh, in different terms. I've always wanted to up my game online. So here we go. Uh, and, uh, and I hope this, I hope that this makes uh, the art community, I don't know, more tech savvy. It's, it's forcing us to be more tech savvy. And, and, and when things get back to whatever the new normal is, it's not going to be, I'm, I'm with Cuomo. This isn't going to, we're going to be changed. It's uh, there's a, there's a line. It's like WW2. Yep. There's a line uh, that the world's going to say pre and post, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, but maybe, you know, and like John was saying, maybe the, maybe the whole world being involved in this, you know, it's like somebody's invaded the world and we've all gotten together and we're fighting it. There's something. Here's, here's my big, here's my big stroke of genius for this hour. Taking <laughs> all these ideas we've talked about. If we could use this format as an in the round and have somebody on each of four different continents, have someone from Africa, have someone from Europe, someone from Asia, someone from North America, and just do an in the round and people talking about their experience and just do a global, a global yeah. music night, make it an ongoing thing and get people. I think people would stand in line <coughs> to perform in that. And I think people would stand in line to watch that. I, I think ongoing is a key word there because you, you, like anything else, you need to build that a little bit. Like if, if you're doing online shows, just don't do one. You got to keep doing it. You got to do it at a time right. too, a regular time. It'd be a series. It would seem like something like Neris or BMI or some global organization would have to get involved to make it effective and really have, have an, an impact rather than just local people like us. I think if someone could get in, involved with it at a BMI level or a ASCAP level. Or, um, have you been on BMI's uh, webpage in the last week, John? No, no. Uh, you're you're a BMI artist, right? Supposedly. Yeah. Well, I you know I mean I laugh too, but there's there's yeah. some helpful stuff on there right now. And uh, uh, but uh, but I think you're right. Uh, but your idea of of going, I mean, you've toured the UK and and uh, I believe right. And, yeah, um, in South America. And uh, I mean, you could you could you could hit a couple parts of the world there just that and you and you know people and uh, you know obviously all over you could probably give it a trial run but uh, I think the first step obviously for everybody is to uh, and for me to uh, obviously is going I'm, I'm going to check this technology and this sound this other sound option on zoom yeah and uh, and and see and see how that will test it out uh, so what what else um, I, I guess, uh, Todd, I just, I yeah. just like to check in. Um, and, and I really, uh, you know, the, the pieces of songwriter in the round and then John songwriter in the round across the globe and, and, and those kind of things really, uh, have some pizzazz and, and, you know, I, I, so your, your conversation about getting your instruments dialed in and, and getting the good sound and, uh, I'm even thinking about how to do the the interplay is is we do a songwriter uh, session once a once a month and you know three three people sit there and trade tunes I could see that um, happening just all from the privacy of our own um, living rooms or or wherever we're we're doing it but uh, great way to you know connect and uh, whether it's for Arts Bridge or uh, Share the Tips, as, as you were talking yeah. about at the 123 Pleasant Street, Todd. Uh, you know, I, I think that's, uh, that's got a, a whole lot of hope in, um, in a, you know, in a, in a pretty, pretty dark, uh, pretty dark sky out there. Yeah. 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 I agree. I agree, yeah. man. Um, well, 
Uh, so there's also, um, I'm saying this for the sake of everybody that might watch this eventually, if anybody, but uh, as well, there's also, uh, maybe you know about the Music Cares the, on, their, um, on their application, or on their, excuse me, I got to turn that off. Um, music Cares, if you Google Music Cares, I'll send out a, an email um, after this. And, uh, but it's pretty easy to find music cares. There's for, for, uh, musicians, uh, who have lost shows. They, they, they have money available, relief money available. It's wow, not, who, it's not who paid for that. It's not, um, who I think it's private funders. It has something to do with the Grammys. Yeah. And, uh, and, um, and, you know, I think it's a, a thousand bucks at a clip, but still there's That's something. And, yeah. And then there's, um, there's other options. And I wish Steve Zarati were on this call because he had some other options. I'm going to try to sh share these other options as well. And, uh, I, I say this without knowing anyone who has received, uh, any relief yet, but this is also new, isn't it? I mean, it's still, it seems yeah. like, it seems like we've been doing this for a year or so, but it's, it's, it's not that long that we've been doing this, but, but anyway, um, that looked pretty promising for somebody in need. And, uh, yeah. Um, so I don't know. In closing, I, I guess, uh, I feel good about just talking to other humans. <laughs> <It's been great. laughs> I mean, this is, this is wonderful. And I'll try to, I'll try, and if you have, if you have friends, I guess it doesn't, I mean, this started as a, you know, Joe Crookston's idea and I've been involved with other artists and, and really Joe uh, up there in Ithaca, he, he, he's done these cool things. Like he was just kind of, he walked out on his porch. It was like 48 degrees and started playing fiddle and, and people were walking by and they were standing, you know, distancing yeah. themselves, but he had like 10 people watching and he, he posted that and, but, uh, but he's, you know, he's encouraged and I'll, I'll encourage you guys too. you know, maybe, maybe take this, take this to uh, another, another group of friends and have conversation with them. Uh, try, try to do your own zoom conference or FaceTime or whatever it is yeah. with, with others, uh, and, and just have these conversations because I, I get energized by them and I, and, um, every, every time and, well, you've always been good at that, Todd. You, um, I'm serious. You've been a motivator in a lot of ways. Um, and, well, it's uh, fear, Rod. I appreciate <laughs> it, but it's just <laughs> I've been running. I've been running on fear my whole career. Yeah. Well, we're musicians too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, thanks. Um, do I need to sell that guitar to pay the rent? Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. Um, I'm hang. I'm clinging tight, you know, to to my instruments. But uh, um, yeah. So. Um, it's good. It's good to talk to you guys. And, yeah, you too. Uh, well, and I'll, I'll shoot out an email. Maybe we do another one of these next week if you guys are game. And maybe we uh, invite two or three others. I think, I think people see the email. They're busy or they're just uh, whatever they're doing. And and I, I think, I think that uh, I think a lot of a lot of our friends could benefit just from just having a conversation. Yes. You know? and, great. And, yeah. Uh, great to talk with you all. Yeah. All of you too. Yeah. The hey, same way. Talk. Pleasure yeah. to make your acquaintance, and uh, you hope we'll get get to. I'll get you. together sometime uh, and do it in a in a real live setting. Uh, and but in the interim, it's uh, it's it's good to chat and uh, everybody be well out there. You too, man. Thank you all. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Talk soon. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye now.